welcome to Clay Valley High School's second and hopefully last virtual Christmas concert. The year 2021 has been challenging in ways that we could never have imagined and our school community unfortunately continues to be affected by the unprecedented events of the past two years. So, in true Clay Valley spirit, our amazing pupils and staff have pulled together to put on another fabulous Christmas concert. The spread of joy and cheer to our entire Clay Valley High School community. The Christmas concert is often one of the most eagerly anticipated events of the school year and even though we still cannot invite you to enjoy it in person, we are certain that our virtual offerings will once again get you in the Christmas spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sit back, relax in your Christmas PJs, pour yourself a hot chocolate and get ready for a wonderfully spectacular Christmas concert from the comfort and safety of your own homes. Welcome to Clyde Valley High School's Christmas Concert 2021. concert in our usual way were our amazing pipes and drums. Pupils Callum Kyle and Craig Mitchell with tutor Ross Kevin have, with their medley of Scottish and Christmas music, provided a fitting and rousing start to our virtual Christmas concert this evening. Mark, what's next? I am so excited to tell you. Right, well, tell me then. You are going to love it. I don't love this. Stop keeping us waiting. What's next in the programme? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Hang on to your seats because here come the fabulous school band.
is that. Mrs. Patterson has pulled it out of Santa's sack again. That was awesome. You know, Louise, I think Jingle Bell Rock might be my favourite festive song. What about you? My favourite would have to be Silent Night. Silent Night? It's alright, I suppose. It's a bit slow, is it not? No, it's lovely and peaceful. I wish you could be like Silent Night. Eh? What do you mean? While you mull that one over, allow me to introduce the next act. I am excited to welcome Sophie, Laura, Ellie, Gemma, Elise, Reese on ukulele, Duncan on violin and Emily on vocals. Led by Mrs Taylor, ladies and gentlemen, here they are performing the classic Meli Kaliki Maka. funny with your silent night joke. Oh, that was no joke, let me assure you. Well, you know what my real favourite Christmas song is? Go on then. A spaceman came travelling. Alright, that's a good one. Don't you want to know why? I already know why. It's because you belong to a different planet. Up next is always one of the favourite acts at the Christmas concert. So grab that remote, turn the volume way up and get ready for the Samba Band.
You know, I was just teasing Louise about her favourite Christmas song. I really like the classics like Silent Night. It's such a thrill to introduce the next item. Led by Duncan, S6 pupil, school captain and student at the Royal Conservatoire, where he's currently doing a Music Leaders Gold Award. Here is the wonderful pupil and staff choir performing the beautiful hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. I can't see a thing with these shades on. Ah, that's better. Ah, right. Oh, good. Right. How do I get it to record? Mrs. C! Is it. Is it recorded, Briggs? Ah, aye! Aye! Oh, it's on! It's on! It's on! No, it's fine. Right, we're off and running good. Ho, ho, ho! It's me! Santa, your old Crimbo present pal. Down with the time for my first vlog, a podcast, video thing. I don't know. Anyway, 
Some of you might be wondering, what's with the shade and the get up and all that stuff? Well, I'll tell you. It's looking like we are going to have to relocate from the North Pole. And see, between you and me, I'm voting for somewhere warmer. So I can top up my tan for 364 days of the year. Because I think we all know exactly what I'll be doing the certain other day. Unfortunately, the North Pole sits on ice. If the ice melts, we end up in deep water. Literally. I mean, we used to have a wee cottage on the coast of Spinaway. It's currently on an iceberg halfway over to Scotland. But we all know what's caused this, don't we? Global warming! We have a new elf with us now. Her name is Greta Elfberg. See, to be honest, she's a bit of a bore. All she does is just moan and go blah, 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 blah. It constantly reminds us about everything we're doing wrong. I mean, she got annoyed when I, she said to me about a polar bear that had no fur coat on. The thing that set her off was the fact that I suggested to her it might have been to the barbers. It might have had a number one all over. And then when she told Mrs. Claus about the penguin that was getting all soft and sticky in the heat, she got annoyed when Mrs. Claus turned around and said, don't dunk your biscuits in your hot chocolate. Oh. The thing that really got Greta annoyed as well was reindeer farts. Now, I do apologise for the use of words, but yes, reindeer farts. Our reindeer fart and burp methane, which helps to warm up the atmosphere. Greta insisted that we retire the herd of reindeer immediately and use a balloon for deliveries instead. That would have took far too long and I would never get a fraction of it done. So Mrs. Claus was our usual helpful herself. She came up with the idea that we should change the reindeer's diets and to make them a little less, uh, less windy. Uh, a little less windy. And then the next thing that got her was chimneys. She was like, well, we need to block up chimneys and stop people burning coal and logs and insulate their houses. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I'm all for stopping fires and all that because, let's face it, it does get a bit burning down there. But that means I've no way to get in and out of the, the houses to deliver presents. So it was then that my bodyguard came to the rescue. Now, before you ask, yes, I have a bodyguard. I was on that Twitter the other day and I corrected someone who mistyped my name. I told them that Fanta wasn't correct and then they hot up with a, Ah, oh, what are you got against Ginger's? I've got a heat mob after me now! I feel better with the bodyguard around though because Let's face it, I could be making an innocent comment about Copperberg and then before you know it, I could end up being a victim of online cyberbullying. Anyway, my bodyguard has a magical fairy skeleton key which opens every door in the world. It's part of his bodyguard kit. So, that's just sorted. There's no mere need for chimneys. <laughs> the next thing though, was plastics. Greta was concerned about the amount of plastic that we use for making the presents. So, Mrs. Claus agreed. And she said we should get the elves to use 100% environmentally friendly materials. But that just set Greta off about the carbon footprint in the workshop. Greta, when Greta said that, Mrs. Claus said she might have an ointment for it. That just set me Greta off even more. I knew exactly what Greta meant though. I could really do with cutting down on the carbs. But I need my energy at this time of year especially. And it was the energy that got Greta concerned. 
about how much of it the elves were using the workshop. So we all agreed and we all came up with the idea to build a wind farm after the Christmas rush so. so the elves can use that instead and power the workshop with it. And that was when I realised that just like a lot of little presents make many people happy, if we all make lots of little changes, then together we make one big change. The causes in the elves might be able to stay in the North Pole after all. And what's good for the world, it's good for everyone in it. What's more Christmas here than that? So I feel that that is a good time to stop on my first vloggy podcast thing. Still don't know. So, I shall leave it there. And I wish you all a very, merry, green Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Santa out. I heard a conversation on Radio Clyde this morning about the best Christmas songs. Nothing to do with the fact we're at a Christmas concert. What do you mean? Surrounded by Christmas music. Aye, but what's your point? Oh my goodness, you really are Dominic the Donkey. Eh, oh? I rest my case, ladies and gentlemen. Up next is a percussion ensemble comprising Reese. Ellie, Callum, Erin, Adam, Laura, Sophie and Elise and led by Mrs Chalmers with their rendition of Here Comes Santa Claus. Hold off and popping up that hot chocolate just yet. Duncan Richards, who's joining us in S2, has become one of Clyde Valley's most celebrated musical talents. With Mrs. Jenner and Mrs. Taylor, it is a magnificent string ensemble performing away in midwinter.
This is my first Christmas concert, Louise, and do you know what? I have absolutely loved it. It's always a special night and a real privilege to be part of it. Without further ado, I am delighted to welcome our final performance of the evening, the highly adored school choir with their version of Heart the Herald Hallelujah and Man with the Bag.
and so concludes our second virtual concert. Once again, we are working with St Andrew's Hospice and you'll find a Just Giving link at the bottom of the screen. All donations are gratefully received. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we hope this is the last Christmas we have to stay apart and a virtual concert got you rocking around the Christmas tree because Christmas really is the most wonderful time of the year. Being a part of our wonderful Clyde Valley family means that you will never be lonely this Christmas and that's what Christmas means to me. So, stay into Christmas and spread peace on earth and make sure you avoid Santa's naughty list so that the man with the bag stops by well on his sleigh ride. Whether it's a white Christmas and you wake up in a winter wonderland, just remember that the true story of Christmas is about when a child was born. All that remains for us to say is that on behalf of Mark and I and the pupils and staff of Clyde Valley High School is that we hope you have a wonderful Christmas time. <laughs>